Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the Salesforce UI. So before I jump into the Lightning UI features and how to customize things in the Lightning, this particular lecture is to give you an introduction to what are objects, what are tabs, what is an application in Salesforce. So students who are already coming from a Salesforce background or who are familiar with the basics of the Salesforce, you can skip this lecture and go to the next one. But this particular lecture is for the newbies who are completely new to Salesforce. So in the Salesforce, when you go ahead and uh, when we switch to the Lightning UI, so when we go to the Lightning UI, you can see here, these are nothing but these are all the different applications the Lightning UI has. And each of the applications, so let's say if you go to the service, you when you click on the service, these are the different objects, or you can say these are the different tabs that is related to the service application. So you have accounts, you have contacts, you have cases, etc. So these are all the different kinds of tabs that is associated with this application called service. Similarly, so these are the standard list of applications that are available in the Lightning. Now you can create your own application in Lightning and we will see how to create an own application, a custom application. We will see all that in the upcoming tutorial. But these are the standard application the Salesforce comes up with. When you switch to the marketing application, these are all the different tabs that are associated with the marketing application. So you have a home, chatter, campaigns, leads, etc. So what are these campaigns? What is this? These are nothing but the objects. Now what are objects in Salesforce? So you can see here, these. this is an application. So think like this is a sales application or marketing application. So And each of this application is consisted of these different kinds of tabs so you can see here let's say you have a sales application now sales application can have account tab can have a contact tab etc so tab is nothing but is an easier way to access an object now what is this object object is a table so let's say i work in a company right the manager of mine asked me to create a table of the total number of employees that are working about the, what is the name how many years of experience they have their salary and the address etc okay so this is what a, a manager asked me to do to create a list of employees with all this information so what will i do is i will basically go ahead and open an excel sheet and uh, in that Excel sheet, I will create some columns. So let's say I will go here if I wanted to create an Excel sheet for the employee. So what will I do? I'll create a column to capture the name. Then I will create a column to capture, let's say I wanted to capture the salary of the employee. Then let's say I also wanted to know the years of experience the employee has. So this is what I'm going to do, right? And then what will I do is I will go ahead and uh, start entering the name of the employee. So you can see here, I will start, let's say I have a John, then he has about five years of experience. Then this is his salary, this is his address. So I'll start entering the data into my table. Now in Salesforce, what happens is we do not call them as tables in Salesforce. What we call them, we call them as objects. So objects are nothing but these are the tables. In tables, you have a row and a column, right? So this is what, this is a column, primary address column. This is a column, salary column. This is years of experience column. This is name. So in Salesforce, we do not call them as columns. We call them as fields. So these are nothing but these are the different kinds of fields that particular object has. And this is the records, right? These are the rows. John, Adam, etc. These are the different rows. In Salesforce, we do not call them as rows. We call them as records. Always remember that. So we have table is called object in Salesforce. Rows are called records in Salesforce. And columns are called fields in Salesforce. So this is what we have. So if you go back to our lightning application here, you can see here, these are the different kinds of application. 
and uh, in service if you go to the service you see here these are nothing but the tables account table contact table cases table now if you wanted to look at if you wanted to see the table you can look at the table view as well so what you have to do is there is a thing called schema builder you can go to the schema builder and this will the schema builder will give you the information about the different fields a table has so how to get to the schema builder what you have to do is you go back to your this click on this icon here and go to the setup and uh, this is what we have is a search box okay so if you want to search anything across the salesforce ui you can type in you do not have to remember where each and everything is all you have to do is if you're looking for schema builder type the word schema in here and you can see here there this is a link that comes under the objects and fields for schema builder so this is how the look and feel is so you can see here account let me go ahead and clear all and let's just look at the account so you can see here this is what this you can imagine account as like a table and this is an account table but in salesforce we call them as account objects so this is the table and it has a name column it has a account number column then it has a owner column so these are nothing but the different kinds of columns site column all these but we do not call them as columns in salesforce we call them as fields so you can see here this is how the account looks like in the background you can think it's a it's a table right and these are the different columns of that table Similarly, if you want to take a look at uh, another object, so let's say I wanted to take a look at uh, contact, let's say. So you want to look at the contact, you can see here, this is how the contact looks like. And this is nothing but it's a table and these are the different fields or you can say the different columns that is available in this particular table. So you have an account contact table here and inside of this contact table you have different different columns but we do not call them as columns we call them as fields so you have a field for birth date you have a field for clean status contact owner created by etc right so these are the different objects that are available so going back here so a table is called object in Salesforce, rows are called records in Salesforce, and columns are called fields in Salesforce. So in order to access the objects easily, what we have is we have is called as tabs. So you have objects in Salesforce, we can think like different tables, and to easily access those objects, you create tab for them. And a bunch of tabs makes an application. So you can see here, there were different tabs under sales application, different set of tabs under service application, different set of tabs under the marketing application. So those are the standard application. And Salesforce comes up with standard objects. So there are two different categories of objects in Salesforce. One we have is a standard objects. And the other one that we have is a custom objects. Now, what do you mean by standard objects and what do you mean by the custom objects? So standard objects are the objects that are given to you by Salesforce, like account object, contact object, opportunity objects. So those are the standard objects, means the objects that are already given to you by the Salesforce. Custom object is the objects that you create for your specific requirements. So let's say if you are working in a real estate company, let's say if you're working in a real estate company, you might end up creating objects like properties to store property information, right? So you, that is a custom object. You will need a, a table to store real, realtor information. So you will create another object called realtor. It's another custom object. So the objects that you create for your specific requirements are called as the custom objects and the standard objects are the objects which are already given to you by Salesforce. Now, once you have this application, each of the application is given to different, different kinds of profiles. Now, what do you mean by a profile? So profile controls the visibility of a application. So what are the things that you can see that is controlled by the profile? What kind of access you have that is controlled by the profile? So what do I mean by that is what tabs can you see? What applications can you see? What kind of objects 
you can see those are controlled by the profile. So what do I mean by that is if you go to the setup and if you type in the word profile, this is what the profile is. So Salesforce gives you different kinds of standard profiles. Salesforce has already created standard profiles for you. So when you are when you created a developer's account, you get a profile of a system administrator. So if I go to the users, you can see here, this is me, Salesforce Lightning at MyTutorialRack.com, and I got a profile of a system administrator. Now, the profile will control what are all applications I'm able to see. So if you want to edit something, so here if I go and want to edit it right now, these are all the different applications I can see. I can see marketing application, I can see sales application, etc. So what I do is, let's say I uncheck these two things. I uncheck the marketing, I uncheck the sales. What will happen is I will no longer will have access to the sales application and the marketing application. So if I go to the setup here, you can see here, I do not see the marketing application anymore and I do not see the sales application because as a user, so you can see here, this is me, right? Deepika Khanna. This is what this is a user. Now every user in Salesforce has a profile. So this is me. User is Deepika. And what kind of profile I have? I have a profile of system administrator. This is my profile. System administrator is the profile. Now this profile controls what all things I see. So according to this profile, what I did is I took away the access of marketing and I took away the access of sales from this particular application. So I no longer have the access to the marketing application or to the sales application. Every user in Salesforce will have a profile. We will talk about all this in detail in the upcoming tutorial, but this is just to give you an overview. If I want to give back the marketing access to this, what do, what do I need to do? I need to go back to the profiles and what kind of profile I have? I have a profile of a system administrator, right? So I will go to the user. So you type in the word users here, go to the users and click on this profile system administrator. And what do you have to do? You have to edit this profile and you have to give back the access of marketing and the sales to this profile. So you have going to go ahead and hit the save button. Now you can see here in the setup, once you go back, you already, you got the access for the marketing and you got the access for the sales. So profile controls, what kind of applications you can see, what kind of objects you can see, what kind of tabs are visible to you. So that is controlled by the profile. Profile controls the visibility. Now each profile, as you can see, is given to multiple users. So there is a profile, let's say, is given to these users. Profile is meant to be shared. So if this profile is given to these two users, these two users will have the same kind of access, the similar access. Similarly, there's another profile which is given to all these three users. So all these three users will have, will see the same thing. If this profile has access to sales application, both of these users will be able to see the sales application. If you took away that access from that profile, then these two users will not be able to see the sales application anymore. So that is what the whole overview of the Salesforce is. I hope you have understood this. If you have any questions, please message me or post it into the discussion board and go through this lecture if you are not familiar with it. And if you have any questions, you can contact me. Thank you so much.